Today is uh, January the 26th, and right here at my feet, I have a cream male. He's actually a stud dog that I got as a puppy um, about a year ago, and uh, his name is Hugh Hefner. He is right now a year and three months old. Uh, he's a very pretty dog. He's uh, about uh, 22, 23 pounds. He'll put a little bit more on as he fills out over this next year as he matures up a little bit. But he's got all the right attributes. He's got a really nice head, nice ear set, great color. Not long in the leg, not long in the body, doesn't have much of a tail. Uh, he's champion side, he's, a, he's got Daystar. He has got 10 champions in the 14 dogs that stand behind him in his three generation pedigree. There's 14 champions, so there's only three of them, actually there's 11 I think, there's only three of them that aren't champions. I mean, he, is, he has got champions on both sides and in fact while he's busy there I'll just skin over here and we'll see his uh, pedigree and so kind of zooming in that is him see he was born November of 2011 then that's his dad a champion a day star and that's his mother whoops where's it go to I'll get there in a second there's a mother right there so I'm gonna come back out again so you can see where I'm going with this um, and then if I go back up here to the, oh, come on, wind's blowing a little bit, sorry. Okay, so that was the, that was the mum and the dad. Okay, here are the grandparents, and you can see champion, champion, day star again, champion, one that's not on the mother's side. And then over this, sorry, I'm screwing up here, I'll try this again. These are the parents, these are the grandparents. Champion, champion. <laughs> All right, one more time. There's him, then above him are the two parents, then above him are the grandparents, and they're all champions but one, and then we go to the grand, great, great grandparents, and there's only one out of that lot that's not a champion, and they're all Daystar too. So this is basic, so if you know, if you're into pedigrees, Daystar is a uh, sought after name, that's why I bought him. Um, I've had Daystar dogs before, and I produce really nice puppies. I have not bred this guy, but I have pulled from him successfully. He's easy to pull from. The semen quality looks great. Um, he's just really will be starting out his career as a stud dog. I mean, he can be a family dog, but he is a he's a nice guy. He's calm. He he gets along with the other dogs. Um, he gets along with the, both the males and the females. He's not a, not you know he doesn't get aggressive when somebody's on heat. Um, and he's just a you know he is a he is an outright quality dog. And uh, the only reason he's and I bought him as a puppy. And uh, I think I paid about $3,300 for him as a puppy. The only reason that I'm not going to keep him, I think, is because I have Bolt. And now that I've had a few litters from Bolt, my other cream male, I'm extremely happy with those litters. And so if it isn't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. But uh, there's actually no reason that he couldn't stay with us. And so, but he's taken up a little bit of room. And, uh, you know, he, needs, he, he deserves maybe another home. So I'll just quit talking for here. Now you can see a side view of his face. He's got a nice pushed in face. He's got, he's got a really nice head. He will fill out a little bit as he gets older. I'm guessing right now, 20, about 22 pounds. And I guess he's going to be fully grown. He might be a 24 pound dog. Um, and you can see I, he's not on a leash and he's right out here. I mean, we are, we're out here in the open, in our place. He can go running off and do what he wants to do, but nope, he wants to hang with me. And if I get down, he'll come and say hi to me. And then you've got to lick the camera, won't you? And we're not going to do that. If you had a stick so I could throw and you'd go run out for it. So, this guy here would do great in your house. If you've got a small operation, but you're thinking about you'd like to uh, have a male for your female, he will get along with everybody. He'll get along with kids. He knows what cats are. Um, see if I can back away from him, see if he'll do his own thing. He just wants to be with me. All right, we're going to go for a walk. So you can see his gait, back end looks really nice, doesn't have knock knees or anything. And he doesn't need to go over where the courses are, so we're going to have to corral. Come on, you. So, uh, www.lovemypups.com is his home. Had him since he was a puppy. 
Um, I'm going to sell him for less than I've got in him. And uh, not because he's not a great dog, but just because I don't need two cream stud dogs. I've got six stud dogs. I don't need six stud dogs. So I've got seven stud dogs. And Hugh, come on, you can't go that way. <whistles> come on, Hugh, come on. Hugh! Alright, I'm going to have to go collect him because he's going to go after the horse. Let's go the horses. Hugh, come on, yeah, you're looking so pretty. Here. And he's going to go check the poop out. We'll get a good picture of that. Next thing he knows, he'll be rolling it. Well, maybe not. Where are you? I lost you. Sorry. There he is. Hugh! <whistles> yeah, that smells good, doesn't it? He says, What is that smell? So you can get a really nice look at his head. See if I get on the side here, we'll see if we can't get a profile while he's busy doing that. And now he's gonna come back to me. Alright. Alright. Well, there's a profile on his face. So you can see his he has got just a nice flat face, just like you want. He's got nice muscles here. Look at his front legs. Look at his back, meaty thighs back there. Um, he's uh, looking on top of him. He's uh, where he's not going to let me do that. He's a uh, good solid dog. As I say, he will fill out a little bit more, but he is a nice looking dog. So, good prospect for somebody. So, go to my website and uh, or give us a call. Drops the line. Bye-bye.